Hey, Jared. Sorry we weren't home when you got in. We were at your sister's play. That's okay. So you glad to be home from school? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I've only been here like an hour. Are you planning on getting a job for the summer? Yeah. Well, you better start looking as soon as possible. All the good jobs will be gone if you don't start looking right away. Dad, I just said I've been home like an hour. So when did you start dressing like this? I don't know. We read a book in my American literature class about people working on the land or whatever. It, I guess it made me feel guilty for wanting to be a novelist when hard labor is, I don't know, the foundation of society. What book was it? The Grapes of Wrath? <laughs> hey, you know, Mr. King over on Bluff Road said he's looking for some help on his farm this summer. Do you want me to give him a call and see if he has a job for you? Yeah, that'd be cool. Cool. I know it's not what you had in mind, but I just need you to mow my yard for now. That's okay. You know, when your dad told me his kids from college wanted to help out, I was worried you'd be an art student or English major or something like that. Well, actually... Not that they couldn't mow a lawn. I just think, you know, us men are more inclined for that kind of work. Well, once you're done, come find me in the house and I'll find something else for you to do. Mower's in the, in the garage. So how'd it go today? It was fine. When do you think you'll go back? Tomorrow? Mm, I, no, I don't think I'm gonna go back. Jared, you need a job. You can't quit just because the work is hard. I'm not quitting because it's hard work. It's just because... Is it Mr. King? I guess. You can't expect him to be just like you. Think of where he's coming from. Has he thought about where I'm coming from? Of you? <laughs> Fine. Then I want you looking for a job first thing in the morning. Fine. And if you're not going back, why are you still wearing that hat? Still looks good. <laughs>